Hello, and welcome to See James Play. I'm James, and once again, you're here to see me play. Now today, I'm going with something different. This is Peacemaker, an educational game, which, as you can probably guess by the two puzzle pieces up top, is about Israel and Palestine. It's meant to show how both sides see what's happened there, and I figured, considering everything that is going on still, it might be a good time to learn. And as someone who doesn't know a whole lot about it, but has an opinion, and let's face it, who doesn't, I figured it would be a good way to start learning. I'll be trying to keep my personal opinions out, but, I, but much like when I play Democracy, you'll probably see him sneaking out. At least that's what I imagine will happen anyway. Now, the idea of the game is that you play as the leader of one of the two nations, and you have to achieve a two-state solution. Or well, that's the end game anyway. And that's the good ending. The bad ending apparently is you getting overthrown by your own people or the other side to do something bad. Now, yeah. right, let's go in. I've given this a little play so far, so I know roughly how it goes. But we're going to start new. And as it's at top, we're going to be President of Palestine. And because I like to suffer, we're going to go with the violent difficulty. Now I should warn that this game is about 10 years old now I believe it is. Maybe 12 years, so one or two references may be outdated, but let's end this other look. A few timeline they might tell us a bit more. 1948. British rule Palestine based on the mandate from the UN. Arabs and Jews in Palestine are in constant conflict. Each side wants its own state. Israel declares independence. The first Arab is ready war and shoots. Israel successfully defends its state. Hundreds of thousands of Palestinians Arabs flee or are forced to leave their homes. The 1950s witnessed many border clashes between Israeli forces and Palestinian militants. In 1964, Egypt establishes the Palestine Liberation Organization, otherwise known as the PLO, based in Cairo. In 1967, the Six Day War. Israel conquers East Jerusalem and the West Bank from Jordan, Gaza from Egypt and the Golan Heights from Syria. As a result, all the Palestinians in Gaza, the West Bank and East Jerusalem fall under Israeli military rule. In 1968, Palestinian militants meet in Beirut and reorganise the PLO under the chairmanship of Yasser Arafat. And that's a guy I've heard of. I remember him being mentioned when I was younger. but. I wasn't really interested in world affairs at the time, so it was just the name that got mentioned from time to time. Right, between 1968 and 1980, the PLO attacks Israeli and Jewish targets in Israel in Europe. Israel responds by hunting down PLO leaders. Jewish settlements emerge in the West Bank and Gaza. Palestinians protest appropriation of their land. In 1982, Israel invades Lebanon to affect the PLO from its headquarters in Beirut and Lebanon and Lebanese camps. The PLO leadership moves to Tunisia. I think I've actually heard of that, them being in Tunisia. In 1987, Palestinians in the West Bank and Gaza revolt against Israeli rule in the First Intifada. I think I've heard of that as well. Again, like the name Yasser Arafat, it's just a it's just a, it's just something I've heard people mention in the past. Hamas emerges as an alternative Palestinian resistance group to the PLO's Fatah. During the 1990s, negotiations continue. Both Israel and the Palestinians fail to meet many of their Oslo obligations. After secret negotiations in 1993, Israel and the PLO recognize each other and pledge to work for peace through the Oslo Accords. The Palestinian Authority and Arafat is created to govern Palestinian territory being a fact created by Israel. 
In 1994, Arafat and the PLO leadership moved from Tunisia to Gaza. Israel withdraws from populated Palestinian centers in Gaza and the West Bank. In 2000, Palestinians launch a second intifada. Sorry, intifada. Contact and cooperation between the Palestinian Authority and Israel breaks down. Israel retakes much of the West Bank and Gaza. In 2005, with the peace process between Israel and the Palestinian Authority in Tatus, Israel unilaterally withdraws from Gaza. Chaos ensues. In 2006, Hamas wins the Palestinian elections. Tension grows between the Hamas government and the Fatah president and his supporters. Gaza is on the verge of civil war. At the same time, clashes continue between Palestinian militants and Israel. Today, listen, let's go back. So 2006 must be the last time something big happened before this was made. Decades of hostility today, decades of hostility, hatred, warfare, and destruction. Can I be a peacemaker? Let's find out. Good morning, President. As the Palestinian president, you're responsible for obtaining stability within your country. You'll do so by balancing the concerns of internal factions as well as the world community. In order to be a peacemaker, you must also establish true partnership with Israel. Good luck. Yeah, I think I'm going to need it. Okay. The red thing means something bad has happened. Yep. That doesn't look good. Suffering and anger. Never good. News report. 18 Palestinians killed and 40 wounded by Israeli tank fire. Is that a real thing or is that just something they're putting in the game? I may have to do some res I might have to do a research video with this game. Find out stuff. Or I may regret it. Okay. News report. Palestinian officials stated that a barrage of tank shells hit civilian homes. Women and children were among the dead. Palestinian leaders are called for an emergency UN Security Council meeting. Israel is investigating the incident. Does the play give me something different? No, it gave me the same video. And it's... Oh yes, it is skippable. Okay, let's get on. So, if I remember rightly... Actions. You have security, political construction. Let's have a look. Civilian construction. Tourism. Ah, advisors. National authorities. Advisor says tourism could help the economy. It really should be worth too much for non-Muslim influence on our society. The form says. Advisor says tourism is great. Okay. I did test this game a while, quite a while ago. So it's just a matter of remembering, but I don't think it's a destruction. Let's see, political, give a speech to the world, negotiate with Israel, commence negotiations, declare an independent state. Yeah, I can't see that going wrong. Let's have a look. School, priest, please, presence, merged. I have no idea. Not. Let's go back. Let's negotiate with Israel. I've no idea what we're going to negotiate. But let's negotiate something. Let's ask the advisors. Okay. National says... Negotiating with Israel before they stop occupying your land and using constant violence against your people is an act of cowardice. Foreigner says... Negotiating is the only way forward. No one is killed by words. By negotiating with Israel, you'll show your will for peace and can make demands and legitimate requests. Okay... I'll stop aggression. What do you offer thanks for? Nothing's happened yet. Okay. It's been a while since I played it, and I played. I gave this game a quick test as Israel. Before I can remember, was you had to essentially balance between not pissing off the Palestinians so much that they launch an intifada, and at the same time not pissing off your own people. Enough so that they overthrew you. It was hard. In my test, it was a while ago, so. You no, know let's just start saying, let's just give a speech. I've just won the election. Let's have a look. Provence with them. 
anti-final resistance? Duragandi, maybe? Let's talk about Law and Order. I presume they mean Law and Order as in keeping Sardi safe. Not the American TV show, nor its British spin-off. Okay. Polls showed that the Palestinian president's speech aimed at turn Gaza into an oasis of stability was well received by the majority of Palestinians. Another source in Hamas, however, called the speech ludicrous. Okay. I've gone up three points with my own people. And I've gone up six points with what I presume is the world. Okay. Let's, let's give a speech to the world now. Uh, actually, let's leave. Let's see what the advisors say. Speeches on world level could create unnecessary tension with factions among your people. Sometimes it's better to wash our dirty laundry at home. Or, making a speech to the world can increase sympathy towards your people and your cause. It can lead global players to put pressure in your favour and bring financial help. Hmm. Nothing's really happened yet, so... Negotiate with... Ah, here we go, negotiate. Oh no, we had that, didn't we? Duh. Commence internal negotiations. what's this? See so what the advice say. Negotiating with the Fatah and Hamas can strengthen your government by making it a true reflection of the society. You don't want to be a pawn of Israel and do whatever they demand. Foreigner says, Negotiating with the Fatah and the Hamas. Are they called the Hamas? I've always thought they were just Hamas. Was that shorthand? Might have to look that up later. Without making strong demands could make you look as legitimizing militant factions will not be a state colony by Israel and the world. Okay, so I must be like an independent. I must have made some grand speech like um, Zelensky did, you know, and just somehow accidentally became president of Palestine. So let's go back. Ooh, Fauna games, who do I have here? USA? You know, names probably be best. No, let's go back. Right, let's go. I'll do that law and order, so. Managed Palestinian police. Yeah, I think that's a good thing. Order police training. Oh, of course. National says money is important, of course, but we don't want to beg for it and accept it in return to concessions. Okay, National's very proud. Fauna says, investments and financial help from anyone will be vital to develop our economy and quality of life. We want to establish good relations with all global players. That is fair enough. Let's ask the Arab states. A Dubai based construction company which planned to invest in the project decided to postpone the investment until Palestinians will be able to secure the execution of the project. Sods. If you build it, it would be better, it would make things better. Then you could build more things for us and make even more money. <sighs> Typical Jabai that is. Self, self, self. Right, let's go with security. You know what? See what the Avar say about police presence. National says too strong a police presence could create tension among the militant factions. It's also a burden on personnel and budget, while playing into the hands of Israelis. A foreigner says a strong police presence in the streets will provide a higher sense of security to the public and minimise the threat of unwanted violence. Mm, well, let's just do a beta maintain order. If you can maintain order like that. The police are fighting off accusations by, by protesters that the jails are running on a revolving door policy. Police cite lack of prison, cite lack of prison space as the prime reason why they let the lesser offenders walk after a short stay. And that's just annoyed my own people. It's pleased the outsiders, but not my own people. Okay, so let's see what we can do, shall we? 
Let's have a look at Pulse. Here you have. Okay. Indicate your government's quality of the race cars. Okay. Not, let's just not forget Pulse. Okay. Let's go back to security. Increase presence, stream. What's extreme measures? Best known militants, season opponents, other advisors. Taking extreme measures against the militants could create unrest among your people and lead to internal faction wars. Fight the Israeli occupation before you fight your own people. Or, taking extreme measures can suppress the violent and criminal elements in the society and lead to trust on the Israeli side and in the world arena. I suppose it would make the world hate by my people. Control over. What's control over internal travel? Yeah, I ain't getting that yet. Political. Now let's go commence. Let's do and talk to us. Let's get Fatah to help me with law and order, shall we? See what happens. The clock ticks. Fatali has responded very positively to your request. They vow to join your struggle to end the violent feud. That's nice of her. My own people don't, don't like me though, so I've got to make things better for my people. What have you got? Let's just patrol for military and see what happens. Police units are busy. All your police units are currently still in the process of executing your previous orders. You can issue new orders to them in a few weeks after the current operation has been completed. Fine. Do that. Let's see, scores range. Please make you have two different scores. Yep, I know that already. But thank you for telling me again. Okay, this is how other people feel now. But I like me. The only problem is it doesn't seem too bad on me. I've got to keep that guy on my side. Otherwise he can screw me over in my mission. Okay. Let's go over with construction. Civilian construction. Housing, agriculture, industry. Let's go with agriculture. Everyone likes. Go with foreign investors. Not I've pleased the world lady, so not let's ask the European Union. Since my Arab allies didn't really trust me. A petroleum company from Holland that planned to invest in the project decides to postpone the investment until next year. Oh come on. This would make things more stable. I'm regretting doing this in a hard difficulty now. Let's give a speech to my people. Pro reconstruction, see what that does. And how did that go down? It's very newspaper said the pres Palestinian president's speech going to reconstruct the land from rubble was impressive in its positive tone and message. The newspaper also quoted world leaders and Israeli politicians said similar thoughts were going in this speech. Okay. A few me high, so let's see if I can get something from Israel, shall we? I'll start with wall removal. Actually, see what I can get from the United Nations. Request a meeting. Request the United Nations meeting, see what happens. UN agrees to meet. UN General. Secretary General gladly agrees to meet with you. He states, The ultimate shape of a Middle East peace settlement is well known. It was defined long ago in Security Council Resolutions 242 and 338, and that ple that's pleased everyone. Okay. Let's 
Let's see what I can do with this. Well, withdrawal, more removal. Let's go back. Can I manage to increase police funding? Push for control over travel. See what happens. They're deciding. Weeks after Pan's force has got permission to control internal travel within their territories, Israel will soon control. There's always going to be a limited experiment, said Israeli sources. We will now examine the results, keeping the security of our citizens as our prime consideration. Damn it. No, I know what we'll do. Security. Let's restructure the leadership. See if that works out for us, shall we? Empty new headquarters cause rage. It is a disgrace, commented an EU official of Revelange, that new police headquarters in different Palestinian towns. Built with EU investment, they are not used and there will probably not be enough manpower to inhabit them in the near future. Okay, that was a dud. Foreign investors, let's go to the United Nations, they seem to like us. Get in. UNESCO budget in Palestine. UNESCO, the UN organization that has been supporting education for providing basic food in refugee camps all over the West Bank and Gaza for decades, announced its investment in the project. Good results for police force. Palestinian police scored high and showed significant improvement in an inspection by a UN team. Progress was credited to extensive training programs and the improvement of recruiting methods. And there's a bloke doing a. Good lord, he's upside down. Oh no, 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 no. Please, no. The past. Palestinian's angry by. Oh, damn it, not those guys. Palestinian president said there is guard, disregard to the peace process and the human values shown by legal actions of the Jewish settlers undermine the entire peace process. And what's happening here? Palestinian security forces try to protect the Palestinian Council of Ministers building in Ramallah. During a protest by Hamas supporters, during which Molotov bombs were thrown on the building setting on fire. God damn it, Hamas, can't you do anything without messing me up? Ah, <sighs> let's have a look. Extreme measures. Let's just arrest some moon, some known militants. Preferably the one that threw a Molotov cocktail at that building. Failed police raid. Palestinian citizens called the attempt to arrest militants as a farce. A police unit readied an assumed hideout, but found only an old woman and her teenage granddaughter. Damn it! Not good. Apology for devastating. The Israeli Prime Minister called you and apologised for the death of 18 innocent civilians, many of them women and children, in Bet Hanun. Israeli artillery shelling on Northern Guard targeted the wrong house in response for cross arm rockets shot from the area. Ah. It's poor people. No one wins in war. It, most people just lose. Hmm. Okay, that's new. Click on the settler, it tells you. Gaza Strip, population 400,000. Principal city of the Gaza Strip has the highest population density in the world. Okay. It's ready to evacuate Jewish settlements from the Gaza Strip in 2005. Afar. Okay, that's what because right now they're talking about. An assault on Rafa, which could lead to a lot of dead people. Never good. Description Location of major border checkpoint between Gaza and Egypt. Currently under control of the Palestinian force with some European and Israeli supervision, making the first time border crossings have come under Palestinian control. Okay. 
I see I've got that bit there and that bit there. I'm not going to bore you all now with my little geography lesson the whole place, but... Okay, so I've got to do something. Something for my own people. Construction. Civilian construction, let's try... You know what, I've got some good brownie points with, the, with Israel, so... Um. Let's get the elf to help. See if they care. Gold construction for Oh, now they agree. Dubai based construction company will finance the project. This was the happiest phone call I ever received, said the transportation minister after hearing the deal was completed. Close, and that should. Ooh, what you looking at? From minus seven to whole plus five. Okay, people like me now. Palestinian policemen fixed Palestinian flags on top of buildings in a former southern Gaza Strip settlement that was evacuated in the Gaza pullout after 38 years of occupation. Palestinians are putting a plan in place to use the evacuated settlements. Okay, that's worked out well for us all. Now, now I've got Palestinian popularities no longer mine. Let's see what else I can do. Very political. Trying to get over these right. Let's ask for all the removal, see what happens. I've got some good points with them, so maybe they'll do something. Israel may remove part of all. Don't like the may bit. Following your meeting with the Israeli Prime Minister, he points to consult with his cabinet and army commanders to review your request to remove parts of the security wall in areas severely affect. Sorry, let me go again. Refer your request to remove parts of the security wall in areas which severely affect Palestinian lives. Sorry, that wasn't me. That was the game making an error there. Okay. Okay, Hamas don't mind me, but I don't care about that. But I have a feeling I may bite them, I bite them in the arse still. Do please patrol. Just maintain order. Hopefully it works out this time. Drugs found in raid, oh that is good! Palestinian policemen found mount Marijuana plants and other drugs drawn a raid in rest, a rest bank village near Hebron. Drugs belong to a group selling them across the rest bank in Israel. That is good. Oh no 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 no. Oh, let's go down here. Hamas protests against your policy. Hundreds of Hamas laws lawless demonstrating on the streets of Gaza City, setting up roadblocks and threatening the hard supporters of the Palestinian president. Typical Hamas. Two Palestinian gunmen killed two Israeli soldiers in an attack on the military post in Nablus. Four troops shot them dead. Israeli radio announced that a militant group affiliated to the Fatah faction had claimed responsibility for the attack and released a photo of the attackers. Marchers gathered in the streets of Jenin protesting the Palestinian government's repeated phase to achieve meaningful consent for Israel as part of the roadmap towards peace. I'm working on it, people. Please be patient. I know life is for you lot all now. And I probably shouldn't have said that word, but it's true. I'm working on it, people. Please be patient, okay? Commence internal negotiations. Negotiations for TAR. Support for peace agenda. I'm sure they're reasonable people. Fatah presents conditions for support. Fatah did not accept the president's request to hold down their weapons in order to give him a chance to resume negotiations for peace. We need convincing, said Fatah sources. If we will see goodwill on the Israeli side, then we will give the president a chance. Okay. Okay, what we're going to do is, we're going to give a speech. We're going to give a hopeful speech to the world. 
and let's see what happens. Palestinians reacted favourably to the President's positive and hopeful speech. At last, there could be some change at last. There is a leader with a positive mind, said a shopkeeper. Just one shopkeeper, mind you. Militants attacked the Palestinian police. God damn it. Militants burnt a government office and stoned the home of a Palestinian minister. This is the latest in a way of protest over unpaid wages and stalled talks between the factions. They're just unpaid. Why can't we pay them? So essentially, if I paid these people, they wouldn't have done this. Typical. Typical. I'm part of the bourgeoisie, aren't I? I know it. Okay, that means I've got to... Well, I've got a patrol for militants. That's it. Militant activity not in. Despite increased police presence on the streets, militant activity has not been decreasing and even increased. Police chief has ordered to check whether the increased patrols have any effect. And my people hate me. Okay, that's not good. I've got to get people on my side. I'm trying, Israel, I'm trying. See what we can do. Commence foreign negotiations. See what we can do with Egypt. Request aid, request win. Request a meeting with Egypt. See what happens. Following your request, the Egyptian president said it is indeed good time for a meeting. Here that you can also offer to host a peace summit in Taba or Sharm el Sheikh. Controversy. Oh, come on. Stop building settlements, Israel. You're making my job a lot harder than it has to be. Ten more homes were lowered into place at a West Bank Jewish outpost. Settlers said the settlement on Palestinian land was approved by the Defense Ministry, but the Ministry denied it. Palestinian landlords are appealing to the Israeli High Court. So, political. Actually, I did ask something with the United Nations going. Request me, request aid. So I'm requesting invest, request investment. I think that's going to be my way forward with this one. UN Secretary General said that the Assembly has improved investment in Palestinian industry and infrastructure. We are glad to invest in a state we believe has great potential for development, he said. Okay. So let's go with construction. Roads, push for control of this, but not. I'm not going to do that yet. So let's go for road construction. On investors, the United Nations. I presume that was it. Fine. Go civilian. Agriculture. Uh, well, I don't think Israelis will invest in that just yet. Well, let's get the United States and see if they want to do something. The American company has agreed to finance the construction of this project. Okay, this can be good. The Ministry of Agriculture has announced several new projects, including the construction of several new greenhouses in the Jenin district. The receding of 44,000 acres of land throughout Palestine has been uprooted or bulldozed by Israel. A young Fatah militant shot a guard at an Israeli checkpoint. The Al Aqsa Martyrs Brigade claimed responsibility for the heroic act. Okay. So I've got uh, two measures. I've got to arrest some known militants, essentially. And hope it works this time. Street riots started during the police patrol searching for militants. 
Locals threw garbage and stones at the otter and accused them of being Israeli dogs. That went well. The Israeli cabinet decided yesterday on a series of measures aimed at easing restrictions on the Palestinian population, including removing checkpoints in the West Bank. Okay. I've got some good points with the world though, so... Actually, let's go back to negotiate political negotiations with Israel. Oh, let's go with Egypt. See what? Actually, I did ask for anything if they did aid. So I can get Egypt to put some pressure on Israel. The Egyptian president agrees to talk with the Israelis, he said. Some Israeli action practices pushed a peace issue into an extremely difficult predicament and is a real ordeal. Okay. Go with four negotiations. So let's request a meet with Jordan. King of Jordan gladly agrees to meet, he said. We shall seize this historic moment to create a new peace alliance for the Middle East. What have we got? Last night, five darn Jewish settlers from Alon Moreh Tat Abdul Karim Hanani, a 70 year old Palestinian from the Beit Dajan village east of Nablus. Jesus Christ. The man's life was saved by Israeli troops. An expected end? Okay. So what we need is more construction. Housing is best. Not foreign investors. Let's try the Arabs again. A Dubai based construction company will finance the project. This was the happiest phone call I ever received, said the transportation minister after hearing the deal was completed. Which is a good thing. And I've gone up with my own people and slightly with the world too. Construction of several new apartment blocks has begun in Gaza, as it will help reduce homelessness and overcrowding one of the most densely populated areas of the world. Okay. Negotiate with Israel. Let's get some more war removed, shall we? Following your meeting with the Israeli Prime Minister, he announced the removal of part of the security wall in the West Bank. The government congratulated you on this achievement. What's happening here? An Israeli armed bus was attacked by Palestinian gunmen near Emmanuel, a Jewish settlement in the West Bank which killed seven people and wounded another 20. The attack was claimed by a group linked to the Fatah movement. Damn, Fatah, I thought we had an agreement. Uh, Internal negotiations. Negotiations with Fatah. Not giving them money. Well, if they're doing enough to support peace. No, let's go. Let's assassinate a militant leader, shall we? See if that will send a message. Police on strike after government issued commands to deal with the extreme militant groups. These people are fine for Palestine. How could we arrest them for that one, officer said. Okay, I seriously misjudged that one. Okay, let's do the bad one first. Palestinian security force tried to protect the Palestinian Council of Ministers building Ramallah during a protest by Hamas supporters during which Molotov bottles were thrown on the building setting on fire. After admitting Air Force was mistakenly targeted the wrong building, Jesus Israel. I thought, I thought Israel was supposed to have the most advanced military in the world, almost, you know, on the same level as the Americans. Yet they keep doing this. It's almost like they're doing it on purpose. Israel offered the Apazian afforded compensation and helped need to reconstruct the destroyed area. It's close. Unemployed Palestinians in Gaza lied down the streets in protest of the situation and disrupted the traffic in the city. They carried banners claiming the basic needs of the pill should be taken care of. 
Armed protesters said, we have nothing left to lose. You know what? Construction, civilian construction, transport. Road construction. Israelis said they'd pay for me. So let's get some. Oh, come on. They just said they'd compensate me. I'm not. Sods. Right. As it's getting late, I think I should call it a night. Night. I hope you've learnt something from this game of Peacemaker, which I have learnt something so far. Uh, one thing I have learnt is that I'm grateful I'm not in politics. And I never showed interest in being in politics. I've always had opinions, of course, but never actually just had the desire to actually get up there and do stuff. And if I'm honest, I'm kind of glad now. I'm also kind of pissed off at my British ancestor for causing this. There must have been a better solution for this area than what they did, surely. Not. That's enough of that for now. I'm going to call it a night. I hope you've watched this and I hope you've had an educational experience. Until next time, I'm James. You've been seeing me play. Bye.